Yo, what's going on boys? Welcome, welcome back. Today's video is going to be awesome. It's a tips and tricks video, which is going to allow you to take your game to the next level. And really the difference between the demo and the final build is going to be gameplay speed. It's going to be up to a little bit, which one of these skills I'm about to share with you, or not so much skill, I technically it is, I guess, it's going to really be overpowered once uh, the full release drops. So I'm really excited to share it with you if you weren't already aware. And there are a few other things in here that I just want to go over and discuss. So please do support the video by leaving a like. That'd be awesome. If you are new around here and you don't want to miss any Fever 20 content from myself, make sure you click that subscribe button and then hit the bell. And if you're wanting to up to date with football news around the world and be club specific one football download the app it is free and we're about to get into it here we go so i've been seeing quite a few people complain when it comes to the cursor sensitivity for penalties and also free kicks but don't you worry boys i got you covered i was one of those people that was missing consistently banging it over the bar couldn't get the timing right and then i thought how about this and i switched it up and as you can see the cursor does not move apart from maybe a few odd movements here and there it is rock solid and i will tell you how to do it so if you're someone that is trying to aim top left top right i would just ignore that for now if you're good with it, fair enough. But with the way EA have programmed the game, you can aim the cursor above the bar, which is quite difficult to keep it under control. And you don't have the Xbox or PlayStation controller case to lean the stick against. Now, what am I trying to explain? So if you try and aim below the line that the keeper is standing at, you can't do because of the way the game is. So what does that mean? You can take the left stick, pull it all the way down, and it doesn't move. So you can hold it to the left hand side a little bit, hold it to the right. And with a little bit of practice, it'll probably take you five minutes to master. You can take your penalty game from someone that was missing to hitting them consistently 10 out of 10. And then really what you've got to learn is just the timing of the shot, which is fairly easy. You don't even have to time it with this technique, but if you do time it, you're going to get a little bit more power and accuracy. And it's just a game changing technique. The next tip I have for you has really helped me out massively. Now, this is a skill or really a technique that is going to be so much better on the final build because the gameplay is going to be a lot quicker so your opponents defenders will have a lot more momentum behind them and it's going to be difficult if they're running at pace to change direction and or track the uh, dribbler because what this allows you to do is turn so sharp now what has been going around the community is the setup touch which there's no issues with that at all you hold rb and then with the right stick you either hold it to the left or to the right as you would be doing a ball roll but with the right stick so you just like drop to the right open up a bit of space and it's a little bit slow to pull off at first um and like i explained like when we do get the final build it's going to be definitely used and if you can master it you're going to be able to set up some really nice shots off of that and i think one of the ea guys said that if you do use that it's going to increase uh, shot accuracy and shot power to a lot of the strikes that you would take but what i'm wanting to show you right now is something that may be going under the radar a little bit it is exactly the same or well, set up touch in a way but instead of you holding left and right you're holding the opposite way so you're wanting to turn backwards so you don't use like the left stick you don't use anything like that. It's holding RB and then with the right stick, you aim it in the opposite direction which your player is running at. And then you can kind of understand what's going to happen. Your player takes a really sharp turn. And I was trying to do this without the right stick. So just using the left stick dribbling and it, they like take a touch and then they take another one. So it's not as sharp. Now with someone like a Maradona or a Neymar, possibly... Uh, something like this well in fact if you're using this skill they're probably performing even quicker so it's something that you guys are going to want to learn and it is so important when you're inside the box and you're running at pace looking like you're about to cross it and you do this skill so hold rb and with the right stick you push in the opposite direction and your player will turn like instantly with a really nice animation and it opens up either a cross or a finesse and i did a couple of examples in the arena so you guys can uh, clearly see for yourselves uh, what I'm talking about and then I was able to put it off against the AI with Sancho and I set it up and passed it over to somebody else so it's not only like good to set up shots but it's also fantastic just to look for the cutback for someone else inside the box it's just awesome man and I hope that this really helps you out and you can practice it uh, against the AI and something that I've done is well turn my game difficulty up to legendary and i've been playing against liverpool and it's some team that i've been struggling against but 
I'm dominating now. And it's really just taking my time in the attack, passing it around, looking for the open space. And even when I see like maybe one player ready for a counter attack, I think about the next step and what I'm, am I gonna do after that? So instead of like forcing him into a corridor and I can't really turn out of that, I'll, I'll play it backwards and I score from it as well. So I think that FIBA 20 is all about patience, really build up, and I cannot wait to just master this game. Just keep keep improving as a FIBA player and hopefully taking my game to another level. But boys, these two tips, go and use them. Let me know how you get on with them in the comment section. And if there are any other things that you want to recommend for other people, you know what to do. Leave a comment. But thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.